The City of Toledo's Collins Park Water Treatment Plant has been in continuous operation since 1941. As a result of the 9-11-2001 terrorist attacks on the U.S., security measures at the water treatment plant have been heightened. A double row fence with barbed wire and razor wire now surrounds the entire facility. The plant is closed to the public. This video provides a look at some of the major problems besetting this 72-year-old facility. As the media has reported, the Ohio Environmental Protection Agency has mandated Toledo fix the plant and the distribution system or face severe consequences, including additional costs. Plant Administrator Andy McClure highlights some of the most critical problems facing the plant. The source of water for the city of Toledo is Lake Erie, and the process begins approximately 12 miles east of the city uh, at an intake crib about three miles offshore. Uh, the process begins at the in intake crib, first chemical addition is there. There's a three mile long, nine foot diameter tunnel underneath the lake bed that uh, flows into the low service pumping station. Here another chemical is added and uh, pumps at the low service pumping station, pump the water to the water treatment plant at Collins Park. Uh, more chemicals are added at the treatment plant, ultimately the water is filtered. Uh, it flows through the filters into an underground clear well storage tank. It's pumped from that clear well storage tank out into the distribution system for the city of Toledo. Um, this whole system has been in continuous operation since 1941. All right, we're in one of the flocculation basins at the Collins Park Water Treatment Plant. This is an early stage in the process where Lake Erie water is treated to become potable water. Uh, flocculation process starts to separate what makes Lake Erie brown and get it out so we can drink it. The uh, problem we've had is the roof is uh, aging and deteriorating. Punks of the roof are falling down into the treatment process and potentially falling on employees. Uh, it's a short-term fix. We've installed netting to keep the material from falling into the, into the process and to protect employees. The long-term fix would be to replace the entire roof structure. This valve is part of the backwash process at the water treatment plant. It's been in continuous service since 1941. It's well maintained, but it's at the end of its uh, useful life. The size of the valve and the age of the valve, it's really not something that we can get parts for and make repairs, it has to be replaced. And this, this condition is typical of many valves throughout the plant, similar age. I work in a pipe gallery in the basement of the plant. On the other side of this wall for me is water going through the treatment process. This construction joint, the concrete, it, the condition of it is typical of construction joints throughout the facility. Uh, water's leaked through it over time. As the water leaks through, the joint can tend to get bigger and bigger, and these need to be repaired before it becomes a structural issue. We're in the high service pump station control room. Uh, it's in this room that the pumps are operated that control the pressure in the distribution system. Uh, the control wiring for these pumps is a blend of wiring installed originally in 1941 all the way up through improvements in the 90s and even 2010. Uh, the whole system does need overhaul. A lot of the wiring is at the end of its useful life, as you can see by the condition of some of these wires and the age of the insulation on them. We're in the high service pumping station switch gear area. This is where power from the electric utility comes into the plant. It's distributed where needed throughout the facility. Uh, it was all constructed in 1941 and has been in continuous service since then. Uh, the equipment can still be maintained and calibrated, but it is obsolete and uh, needs modernized. Uh, for instance, this relay here was manufactured in 1936. This is a low service pumping station where water is pumped from the lake to the water treatment plant. Here we have a 70 year old valve, been in continuous service since 1941. The valve, fittings and piping are all original equipment from the 1940s and are need of work. We're in the north well of the low service pumping station. Behind me is low service pump number one. It's currently in service, pumping water from the lake to the water treatment plant. Low service pump number one is one of the more recent improvements out here. The variable speed drive for that pump was added in the late 80s and early 90s. The rest of the pumps have are essentially as they were in 1941, except for routine maintenance.
I'm very concerned. Um, we want to make sure that I have young ones at home and I also uh, have other young family members and I want to make sure that they're getting proper drinking water. Yes, I am. I'm very concerned about the water service. Um, every day you're seeing mains being broken all the time. I'm very concerned about that because I think our sewer lines are very old and I'm very concerned. Oh, I'm definitely willing to re uh, willing to pay a higher rate. I feel that in order to fix it, it needs to be paid for. We use it, so we're the ones who are supposed to be paying for it. Just like the streets that we drive on, we want them to be paved. We have to pay for that as well. We have to pay to live. That's the way of the world. If that means ensuring uh, healthy water for uh, my employees and my family, yeah, sure. Unfortunately, they have to increase the water rates. It's just an unfortunate thing. Everything has to go up, and I understand that. I mean, I'm a citizen. I don't want to pay it, but I'm going to have to, and that's okay. I don't mind paying it. I'd rather have clean water. Increase those rates. We're willing to pay for it. If we're willing to use the water, we'll have to pay for it. It's important for the future. Not now, but it's important for more than for the future. If we don't have water, we don't have a city, period. Uh, consider doing what needs to be done to take care of the water situation. And we can't wait until everything breaks down and we say, oh, we got to go fix that. It's too late then. Nah, nah. Because too, too much time is going to go by before we realize that we're going to be out of time. And we're almost at that point now.